What's up uh, guys still right here at the Nairobi Serena Hotel. We are here with the one and only Tile. Let me be sincere today. Ebu, kindly help me pronounce your second name. Pak bro. Pak bro. Just the way it's written. Okay. Yeah. Alright, but you're good? I am. Aha. Kidogo to me love the Leo. Shugli Kwagan. Uh today Shugli and Kulanch um this uh, S24 new idol phone. Uh -huh. Basically, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and uh, maybe one thing that stood out with uh, uh, for you yeah. about this new uh, S24. Of course, that's going to be the camera because mm -hmm. I'm a content creator, so I value cameras. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's one thing that you really look well look when buying a phone. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, whenever I'm buying a phone, mm -hmm. the camera has to be exceptional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the S24 mm -hmm. with a 108 megapixel. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. yeah. Have you interacted with the phone perhaps? Yeah, I've already um, taken a few snaps here. Mm -hmm. I can say it's um, it's a good phone, especially at the price point. Uh, how much is it? Um, the RRP, it's 195. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's, there's different versions. There's a um, 120 GB one and 256. Mm -hmm. For me as a content creator, mm -hmm. I'm attracted to the 256 again because of the storage. Uh -huh. Yeah, so for that one, the market price should be around 19,500. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe let's go back Kidogo to yeah. the first time yeah. that you owned a phone. Mm -hmm. What memories do you have about that specific day or rather that specific phone? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, the first time I owned the phone, um, it was it was a Siemens, the one with the, you know, <laughs> yeah. those antennas. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I love that little thing. Mm. Yeah. The first time owning a smartphone. Smartphone. Mm -hmm. The, the memories I have is it was stolen, so not good memories. In <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. where? I was pickpocketed uh, in the CBD. Uh -huh. yeah. oh it happens to the best of us. Trust yeah, me. It looks like everyone has a story about Simo. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And maybe to talk a kidogo labda kuzungumzia mambo masale a Simo. Tunge kidogo kwenye industry. Tila, you are an inspiration to me. You're doing an amazing job. Palivo. Behind it, lab, what is that one thing that people don't know about uh, the videos that you upload, the dance moves and everything? Um, things that people don't know. Um, is it too much work for you? I mean, of course. Um, you see, the thing with content creation is you'll spend literally even three days mm -hmm. creating a content that will just last for 30 seconds, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's, it's always a lot of work, a lot of dedication mm -hmm. behind um, the videos and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, you're one of the people who have, commercial, have been able to commercialize dance yeah. and you're encouraging like other people, young people to, you know, do the challenge, especially yeah. like the mannequin challenge, which is trending. Yeah. How do you feel about it, like seeing other people, you know, follow your footsteps? I mean, of course, uh, being a dancer was able to um, cut through the industry <laughs> and commercialize my skills and my art. And uh, also being a pioneer, I feel happy when I see other people, you know, following the same steps and being able to at least um, earn a living through their own skills, you know. And uh, maybe of course you have yeah. a story. You yeah. came all the way from uh, Kibera. Right now, a lot of people know you. You're getting, uh, maybe you're earning from your socials and things like that, or rather your influence. Yeah. Um, there's this story that has been making headlines today. Yeah. Of uh, someone who has come from the same place that you have come from. Yeah. I'm talking about Steve or Simple Boy. Kidogo Vitu has the cause of the Masimara Mojo Simara Mbili. What would you tell him? Because right now, as we uh, talk, I'm a Fungwa platform to Zingine. Why? The previous ones have been uh, withheld by the former management. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not really in a very good position to speak about this topic. Mm -hmm. But from my own perspective, I would say um, he needs a lot of support. Um, the only problem is uh, there is a lot of wolves in the industry mm -hmm. and everybody is just trying to eat as much as possible mm -hmm. without really caring about the other person. Mm -hmm. So for now, I think he needs more of our support, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, for example, if he has new um, social media accounts, don't see what to follow. Mm -hmm. Just bring up the other one. I mean, these new ones. Um, forget about the other ones, mm -hmm. and then support him as much as possible. We are the only people who can literally uh, make him get back to where he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some point looks like Kidogo. Kidogo. Uh, yeah. Kenyans, for lack of a better word, yeah. are tired of 
this uh, whole thing happening because it happened the sec the first time it has happened the second time yeah. um i don't know what you would uh, tell maybe kenyans because it looks like a lot are giving up on him um i mean i would i would i would say um not to give up on him because mm -hmm. we all know um he has done a lot for the industry mm -hmm. he has dropped bangers upon bangers you know so we should use that as a stepping stone to you know get to a place where we can support him without any strings attached mm -hmm. that's what i would say uh -huh. yeah you know as usual heavy is the head that wears the crown and yeah. we see you know sometimes you get a lot of backlash people even cross boundaries and they you know to stop talking about your family and everything yeah. how do you handle such moments i mean um at some point when you are um a public figure you have to understand that these things happen and you just have to deal with it there's no other shortcut if it hurts you you just take the heart take the pain deal with it cry if you're going to cry you know um hit the wall if you hit the wall but life has to move on does it reach a point whereby you just don't care yes that's that's actually the best way you just don't care you care about the things that matter to you uh -huh. And yeah. maybe uh, talking about that, uh, Kenyans will want to know maybe about um, your family. Because uh, a couple of weeks ago, we yeah. saw a lot of people talking, oh, Till and the wife have gone uh, separate ways, and a lot of things about your relationship with your wife. Yeah. How are you guys handling it? Is it something that at times you have a sit down about it? I mean, we are family, so families sit down and handle issues like that. Mm -hmm. But I would rather not talk about that. In this event, uh -huh. yeah. And um, we've seen so many Kenyans are getting affected by the floods. Yeah. Have they affected you directly or indirectly? Yeah, at some point, um, the water came into my own house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, how, how is the state right now? Because yeah. I, I think it was like uh, two weeks ago, but it looks like the rain has gotten even, uh, quote unquote, worse. Yeah. I mean, right for, for me, fortunately, it was just a leak. <laughs> Uh, at a very, and I live in the ground floor, so the rain came from outside in the yeah. compound. Uh -huh. But that was handled very first. Uh -huh. yeah, so, so right now everything is okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some people are saying that maybe it's spiritual, like the way it's flooding, maybe we are sinners and whatever. What would you say about that? Uh, I'm not really spiritual, mm -hmm. I'm not religious. So for me, um, I believe it's all science. So yeah. It's just science it's yeah. nature it's just nature yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, talking about uh, spirituality of course you've talked about it yeah. before um uh mama nasimani my mom yeah. about my um beliefs yeah i mean there's nothing to say uh in our family or my relationship with my mom we respect each other's um beliefs mm. um yeah there's literally nothing to say she does what she wants mm -hmm. i do what i want have you guys not had any discussion about it between the two of you and mom? Mm, not really. Uh -huh. Yeah, just arguments here and there. Not, not really like quarreling. Yeah. Just you know these the arguments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this one, this one, this one. Then I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tia, let me ask this final question. Sure. Do you remember the first time uh, you got this thing that um, you don't really have this belief? Nini liku push to that? of uh, like to being an atheist yeah. I mean you know you don't just wake up one day and become an atheist yeah. you don't wake up one day and become uh, a Muslim mm -hmm. yeah it's it's a process you know mm -hmm. yeah. it's a process but I was born raised Christian uh -huh. I just did not see um, basically whatever was preached to me in real life I do not really see it the same way mm -hmm. Yeah. To, to some point, have you ever, maybe after declaring that probably you're an atheist, yeah. have you ever gotten to a point and you're like, uh, okay, I'm in this position, going back into Christianity or something like that? Not really, yeah. Maybe as a family man, so like you're raising your family in that kind of belief? Yeah. I mean, uh, I do not have any. Um, how do I how do I put that? For, so basically, for me, for my family, it's the same the, way, the same way my mom raised me. Um, everyone just believes what they want, you know. So, so, for example, my son just grow up believing what he wants. If he decides to be a Christian Hindu, 
Uh-huh. Do whatever you want. Uh-huh. Yeah. And let, let me let me ask this: uh, Is your wife in support of now this decision that you made of being an atheist? Or I mean, uh-huh. it's not up to her to support. Uh-huh. You know, this is personal, basically. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's so, like it's like, for example, you want to do this hairstyle. Uh-huh. I don't really think you ask your husband. Are you in support of me doing uh-huh. this hairstyle? It's personal. Uh-huh. Yeah. So she is not an atheist. Um, I, I would rather ask her because, like I said, it's personal. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Completely unrelated question. Completely unrelated. When is the last time you used public transport? Ah. <laughs> but does that include cabs? Because then I use cabs a lot. No, no, not no cabs. Like the matatu. The... Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi, our president of Comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman. Pedi wa magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa stories za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. Na uende dori. Subscribe right now. Finya saa hii. Saa uwewe finya.